I recently got the opportunity to interview the CEO of Ampere, a company that makes hybrid airplanes. Hybrid electric. Hybrid electric. Hybrid electric plane. Can reduce fuel costs by 70 to 90%. Imagine what that would do to the cost of flying. Revolutionize air travel. And we talked about how hybrid airplanes can save the airline industry. The aviation industry has a big issue, emissions, and the problem is growing. Imagine if a plane came along, required no jet fuel at all. Carbon neutral technology in aviation. Hybrid flight is where the future is. You might have seen a lot of electric airplanes companies in the news lately, but Kevin's company is solving a very unique problem. You might be wondering what is a hybrid airplane, but before I explain, please do me a small favor and subscribe. It'll take you a second and it'll help us educate way more people. See, hybrid airplanes is somewhat similar to your Toyota Prius. They're combining electric propulsion with combustion engine and this combo can actually help like increase the range and the endurance of an aircraft it means that it can fly much longer distances and because the engine can also keep the batteries charged up while flying also the electric component in hybrid airplanes is particularly effective during takeoff and landing these are the phases when the plane requires the most amount of energy the main idea here is not to stop using airplane fuel completely but to use a lot less of it but why do we need hybrid and electric airplanes in the first place. If you have this bimodal or two-phase propulsion system where you have a system which can be optimized for takeoff and climb high power and a system which can be optimized for modest cruise power. And that's exactly what we do with our hybrid systems. So you have the combined electric plus combustion gives you all the power and more that you would need for takeoff and climb. Mm -hmm. And then you're able to cruise on one or the other system, depending on what type of flight you're looking at. And that gives you really good fuel efficiency and incredible range along with good payload uh, across all phases of flight. By 2050, aviation emissions are expected to triple. And we have no other option but to transition to electric and hybrid airplanes to fix this problem. The biggest problem with electric planes is the range anxiety, which people feel because it has a limited range, which makes it perfect for shorter trips. Whereas hybrid airplanes solve the problem of long distance flying. Now, one of the beauties of hybrid electric is we've already flown one of our hybrids 1400 miles. And one of the real benefits there is also that as hybrids, you don't have to have charging infrastructure at all the airports. So just like when you were driving your hybrid electric car on the ground. For 20 years, hybrids led adoption in ground transportation because of range anxiety, because of lack of charging infrastructure. Also, there is a bit of a weight issue. That's correct. Now, let me let me give an example. Uh, the airplane that Ampere is bringing to market, hybrid electric, is called a Cessna Grand Care. It can fit, call it 2,500 pounds worth of payload. Our hybrid electric system, which replaces the engine in the plane, allows to carry the full payload amount or for your standard operation. Our, our hybrid electric plane is about 500 pounds uh, of batteries. If I were to make that plane fully electric, I would need over 2,000 pounds of battery to make that plane fly with even reasonable performance. The problem is with 2,000 or more pounds of batteries, you can carry no useful payload. Adding a regular engine along with its electric parts means that the plane can actually carry way more payload, can carry way more stuff or way more people. This is particularly useful for commercial operations like for cargo. So imagine island hopping or serving rural communities in Alaska. You also have cargo. I actually found the reason most airlines are struggling and have like barely any profit margins. Yes, the most expensive cost for every airline. It's not pilots, it's the fuel. Fuel is a significant cost for airlines. So if you're able to eliminate that fuel cost through electrification, huge economic benefit to those operators. Fully electric is going to be limited in range, being ultra short routes inside of a city. Imagine flying from a helipad in downtown, uh, downtown Manhattan over to JFK. Cutting down on fuel costs by using hybrid airplanes is a smart move. It means the cost of tickets for the final consumer will go down, which is awesome for all consumers. And hybrid airplanes are actually cheaper to run because electricity costs way less than jet fuel and you also don't need like special charging infrastructure at every airport. I really like the business model behind Ampere. They're not just making new planes, they're updating old ones to make them better for the planet. Look, there, there are two ways that you can bring new technology into the market. Way number one is to 
with a big dream, design a brand new clean sheet plane that incorporates all the new technology. And those planes will come to market, but it might be five, 10 or more years between before a brand new concept aircraft actually comes into commercial scale. Option two is that you could actually take the planes that are already flying, right? There are hundreds of thousands of airplanes in the air today that need sustainable solutions. And that's exactly where we're beginning with Ampere is that we take our propulsion systems, these hybrid electric powertrains, and we're putting them into planes that are already flying and those that are already coming off the factory line. And that breeds a new life of sustainable, lower carbon, fuel efficient aircraft that are both economically better and environmentally better and helps those operators and all those assets that already exist in the world today. Finally, I'm always super curious why entrepreneurs choose to work on such difficult challenges. And I asked Kevin why he chose to work on this particular problem. And his answer was really inspiring. It's about people seeing what you're doing, caring about what you're doing, providing additional resources, and that opens up opportunities to have even greater impact on other meaningful and challenging problems. Ampere is the confluence of these three factors more than ever anything else that I've worked on in my life. Meaningful, challenging, visible, all the way to the extreme. And I think we're having a huge positive impact on the world around us. Now, some of those challenges, right? That second criteria, challenges. Building a company, building a vision, going from ideas through reality, that is hard. You run into roadblocks left and right, and it seems that the world is always shooting bullets at you and you're dodging them. And it's not that the world doesn't want you to succeed. It's just a very challenging environment to be building anything that is going truly from from zero, no industry exists, out through commercialization, especially in an industry that has to be so fundamentally safe and trusted. If you enjoyed watching this video and learned a thing or two, don't forget to check out our other videos on spatial computing.